Far removed from the coast of Sardinia, there's a rural town called Mamoyada. Its people live peacefully, tucked away amongst the mountains of the inland Barbagia region. But thrice a year, the people of Mamoyada undergo a metamorphosis in an ancient ritual where men transform into beasts. So we've arrived at Mamuyida and it's a good four degrees colder than where we were at before. But uh, we're here for a good reason. So we're here for the carnival. Today is Shrove Tuesday, which means it's the last day of the carnival. And uh, yeah, we want to see the mammothons, which is very difficult to describe, but we'll show you that in a bit. So it's like a it? tomato soup almost with little pasta rings and uh, white beans. Delicious. After lunch, we stumbled upon this. It turns out that these carnival characters are acting as relatives of Giovanni Marticero, also known as this guy. His relatives walk around the streets rowdily, mourning his death. So we got marked. I'm not sure what that means, <laughs> <laughs> but I've covered. Is it completely? No. I can't really see. Not completely. Oh, but just you the, are. Just on the sides, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's good. So we're heading to the museum to learn a few things. Suddenly, the Mamatones appeared. down by 30 kilos of cowbells and thick sheepskins, the mamatones move solemnly yet rhythmically through the streets in groups of 12, symbolizing the months of the year. They are led by the Isoadores, who use their ropes to capture women as a sign of good health and fertility. While the real meaning behind the ritual remains uncertain, the mamatones are thought to represent the shepherds and the Isoadores, the foreign invaders of Sardinia. Others believe that the ritual dates back to more than 2,000 years ago, to the Nuragic times, with the aim of driving away evil spirits 
and wishing for a successful harvest. There is no doubt, however, that the ritual is strongly connected to nature. The mamatones are taking a break, so I thought we would too. Just got a hot slice of pizza straight from the oven. I got one too. Before the day came to an end, we were lucky to catch a glimpse of the undressing ceremony of the Mamatones. So cool, I love this place. What did you get? There was a guy going around with a tray full of these carnival sweets, I think they're called kekele. It's like a fried pasta and then lots of sugar on top. Nice. The atmosphere is so festive. Like kids running through the streets, playing together, um, people going around with trays, offering us food. Yeah, it's quite special. Hello. <laughs> it doesn't look like they're grieving in any way. No. <laughs> they're completely drunk. <laughs> Later that night, the whole town was offered dinner, as is custom on the last day of the carnival celebrations. Well, I've seen the locals do around me is take one of these beans, they basically eat the inside of it, Chuck the skin on the floor. Really? I'm not going to do that. But the skin as well? <laughs> no, no. I don't, like the bean itself is very flavorful. It's a bit salty, very umami. But around it, I don't know if you can see, they're like little, actually not little, very big chunks of some kind of fat. I guess it's pork fat. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and if you haven't seen our other Sardinia videos, including where we visit one of the oldest carnivals on the island, you can check it out over here. We'll see you there.